Hey guys, I've got a feeling you're not going to be able to hear me way out there, so come a little closer. Alright, I think that'll work. Alright, enough with the comedy already. I have been given permission to fish a farm pond here, more or less. A large acreage track property with a pond on it. I've been given permission to not only fish for catfish, I've been given an opportunity to take a certain amount of bass out of here. So what I've got going right now is I've actually got three rods out, set up for catfish, and then and we're actually fishing with um, frozen shrimp that I picked up from Walmart. And I'm going to take my bait casting rod here. Johnny Morris with a bionic blade. And I'm going to walk the periphery of this pond and see about those bass while I'm waiting on Mr. or Mrs. Whiskers to grace my line. Now guys, just to do this justice, I don't know, this might end up being like taking candy from a baby here, I'm hoping, but um, I could sure get on some tasty show me state fillets here. But I just got done talking to the landowner. He was rolling in and he had given me some tidbits about this particular pond here and um, pretty much uh, syncs up with what I heard from one of the other folks on the property too. It's uh, Sounds like we're going to get into them, so. Gave me a little idea about a particular area here on the property, on the pond, and I'm going to see if I might be able to reel just a little bit closer to it with one of my setups, but, you know, it's it's not really that many acres. I don't know, it might be, uh, I'm looking at it right now, kind of trying to estimate this with my surveyor's brain here, and it couldn't be more than, I don't know, two and a half acre pond, something like that, but. Anyway, it's stocked, and they feed them, so let's we'll see what happens. Feels like a catfish. Yeah, cool. Oh yeah, that's a good one. I don't know how well you can see that I'm trying to video with this Kodak place board on top of this hat here. Yeah, that's going to be a good eater. See me pulling him in? Oh yeah. Yeah, you are going to eat just fine. Good looking fish. We'll get you and get you over on the stringer or put you in the basket, one or the other. Nice looking channel. That's showing about five pounds, four or five ounces. Well guys, I didn't have to wait too long at all with that hook baiting with that frozen shrimp. I'm pretty pumped about this. That was a nice fish. Good way to start the evening. Well, just a little one, but we're catching bass in the meantime here. Yeah, another one about the same size. That's cool. I just heard a turkey behind me. I'm gonna give you a quick shot of the west end of this impoundment. Now we're gonna mosey on over to the set up where I got that channel there a few minutes ago. It's 
Still hearing those turkeys over here. Things will probably come out and pay me a visit since it's not hunting season. <laughs> You know, there's another little one. All about the same size I've been getting here tonight. But they're definitely healthy looking fish though. Healthy pond. That's a little bigger fish. I have to show him to you here. Later, dude. Well, here's another one. I have the same caliber that those first two or three fish were. Well, here's hoping we can get on a few more before the sun's gone. I don't have time to really hit them in the evening here today. And I also don't have any bug dope with me. And these mosquitoes are starting to get kind of nasty. <laughs> I just saw this line move <laughs> right when I was getting ready to pull it out. That, that whole rod just jumped up there. That seems like there might be a nice one on there. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got tangled around some of this stuff here. Feels like there's a fish on there. Hey, oh yeah, here we go. Yep, it's a channel. Oh, big fish. Maybe just as big as that other one. Ooh. I had to kick him out of there because I popped the hook off. That line that I've got on my kids' poles is a little wider than my main one. It's what we bought it with, you know. Cool deal. Alright, there's that one. The live one. Let's get that dead one and stretch it out there and let you see them together. Similar size fish, that's for sure. You know, you won't be that feisty once you been out of the water here for a bit. I'll tell you what, I think that is going to be a decent meal for the family right there. Well, I'm going to go ahead and check these other two poles over here, and if there's nothing on them, we're going to call it a night. Because it's, I'd say, about a quarter till nine here. I'd like to stay out here a while longer, but i got a swim meet to go to tomorrow. Don't want to miss my princess in the water. Hope there's something on it. Let's see. Oh, there's some weight. Oh, yeah. Third cat. I love it. Sweet. I definitely got a good tip on this pond, didn't I? Yeah, baby. See that? See if we can do this right this time without snapping the line off like we did on that last one. Alright, cool. Get out of here, boy. Oh, look at that. 
You guys ever seen one with the intestines or whatever is plumb out the back end? Look at that. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's a spawning deal. Maybe that's a female. I don't know. I do know there's plenty of fish in this pond now. And I'm going to eat it. Well guys, I don't know about you, but maybe I ought to put my equipment away early more often. Because that's what happens, you end up catching more fish. <laughs> I'd say this is a pretty good evening. That's going to be a nice meal. Good evening. Show me steak, kennel catfish fillets. Ah, i tell you what. I just want to thank the folks who own this property for letting me use it. And I'd like to thank the good Lord for allowing me to meet these folks. I'd also like to thank him for letting me make so many great relationships with folks like you here on YouTube. So until next time, guys, happy hunting and fishing to you. And remember, when you're outdoors, try to think about the one who created it all. We'll be talking to you.